Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Fetal Hair Talk. I'm Lin Tan, your hair host today. Last week, we talked about hair loss, so in case you missed that episode, you can still find it on our Fetal SG Facebook page. If you don't know what we're about, Fetal Hair Talk is a weekly live Q&A program where I'll be discussing a particular topic about our scalp and our hair, and also for you to post all the questions that you have on the topic back to me, and I'll answer all of them. Today, I'm going to discuss about dry hair and split ends. And I really like the next 30 minutes to be interesting and informative and most of all, most of all interactive. So please type in all your comments, the questions in the comment section of our Fito Facebook Live and I'll get to every one of them. And also, I've got good news to share. This episode, we're giving away 100 sets of Fito Hoba three-piece moisturizing program trial pack to everyone who's tuning in today at least for 100 of you and we'll mail it to your home if you look at the facebook comment section you will see a link that will take you right there so all you gotta do is just fill in the information well this is my agenda we'll be going through the hair critical anatomy and learning the varying degrees of damaged hair what caused them and how we can treat them a fun fact do you know that our hair is the second fastest growing tissue in our body after our bone marrow? So our hair grows really fast. We grow about 1 cm a month. So if for us to grow to this level, it takes about 3 years, and to our waist, it's about 7 years. So our hair grows really fast. I want to share with you this picture of a cross-section of a hair shaft. Mm. Our hair is made up of 95% carotene, and it contains 18 amino acids. The amino acids in our keratin forms bonds between the hair molecules, adding rigidity and resistance to the entire structure. So it's really important for us to eat the right balance of vitamins and minerals in our diet to make sure that our hair grows well. But at the same time, if you're like me, I'm not sure, and I don't pay attention, the easier way really is to then eat phytophenia dietary supplements to ensure that you get the right nutrients to grow your hair strong. So let's go back to the cross section of the hair shaft. If you looked at it, okay, there's three distinct parts. The outer layer of the hair shaft is our hair cuticles. These cuticles, it's very interesting. They're like shaped like scales. Just imagine fish scales, you know, fish scales, but they're all together and there are many layers of it, one on top of the other. There's like an overlapping layering of scales all around in the vertical alignment, many layers of keratin. And it's about 16 micrometers long and six micrometers wide. This is so important because the hair cuticles protects the cortex of our hair. It really keeps us strong. And you know how strong our hair is? Each strand of hair can support 100 grams in weight. So we have about 100,000 to 150,000 strands of hair in our head. So the, and our entire head of hair can support the weight of two elephants. Very, very strong. So let's talk about our cortex. The cortex, which is the main component of our hair, protected by our cuticles. Our cortex has long keratin chains that gives us elasticity and suppleness and resistance to the hair. And within the cortex, you can see that it's joined by a lot of cells and these cells are called the macrofibrillus. Inside the macrofibrillus is the microfibrillus and inside of that contains the proton fibrillus. I just want to show you how intricate each hair shaft is, which also tells you how strong each hair strand is. But yet, how does it break? when each strand is so strong. Before we get to that, I want to share with you about our medulla. The medulla is the innermost layer of our hair shaft. It's a soft, oily substance that connects us straight to our hair bulb, to our source, source of life. Where it is, what you see beneath that, where the cortex is, where the medulla is, is where you find our melanocytes. Melanocytes is what produces our melanin. Melanin determines our skin pigment and our hair color. So what happens with our hair color uh, when it turns gray, so when we're losing our melanin? So we'll get to that on another episode. So for now, let's talk about our melanin. And if you want to change your hair color permanently, 
we go to the salon and we want to change our hair color from our dark brown to maybe ash color. When you do something like this, you're actually changing your hair color at the cortex level. What does that mean? If you do a semi-permanent color or those spray on fun hair color for the party, it washes off the next day. So it just stays on the cuticles. But if you do a permanent hair color, you have to lift up all the cuticles in order to get the color in that changes it. So imagine if all the cuticles are lifted like this in order for you to change your hair color. After some time, if you don't treat your hair to seal down the hair cuticles to keep it smooth, it will start to peel off, it starts to weaken, and then you have nothing left but your cortex. This is important when we're going through the next se segment. Any questions so far, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, I said gentlemen because there's some men with long hair and that's dry, like my husband's. His hair is as long as mine. Let me quickly check our Facebook, whether there's any questions that's out there. Hi, Vincent. So far, no questions. We are a very quiet crowd. So please bring your questions in if you have questions about dry hair, dry ends, damaged hair, split ends, whatever. Okay. So let me show you what a healthy hair cuticle looks like. As you can see from the diagram, a he healthy hair cuticles are when it's very closely knit. It's very healthy. It's not porous. The structure is strong. The hair cuticle is flat. It's, there's no holes in it. It's not lifted. What it means that when sun shines on it, it reflects light. Your hair isn't heavy or weighed down with silicone. So it looks somewhat like this. Let me show you a video. So that's how it looks like when your hair is light. When you move, your hair moves with you and it reflects light, like the lady in the video. So then how do you maintain healthy, shiny hair like this that you already have? Well, one of the things you can use is our Phytoprogenium Prebiotic Shampoo and Detangling Milk. Progenium is very gentle to your scalp and your hair, and the entire family can use it. Even my three-year-old son is using it. I remember when he was a baby, the poor boy had like flaky skin on the scalp, but now that he can, he's using Phytoprogenium, the scalp is very clean and very balanced. So now let me show you how a porous hair cuticle looks like. You know, when you've done your hair color, your permanent hair color, or your rebonding, or your perming, this is how the hair is going to look like, where the cuticles are lifted and it's dry. You see, it's no longer as smooth. And you have to lift it in order to change the shape, like a curl, or to rebond it, or to change the color. You have to do it. That's why there's a lot of chemical works that gets into the hair that creates the style that you want. Also, if you love to go to the beach and you love the sun, prolonged sun and the salt in the sea, it's really bad for your hair which is why when you just finish any chemical coloring, perming or rebonding, you have to avoid swimming pools, the chlorine. You have to avoid the beach for at least the first two weeks. Well, maybe you can use the swimming cap if you want to swim, but you have to avoid those places. And for those of us who does a lot of coloring, our hair kind of look like this. It kind of looks okay at the top, but it's kind of becomes thinner at the end and becomes really dry after our chemical treatments. So we really need to have extra hair care to replenish our cuticles and get our shine back. So those of you may ask me, but Lynn, I don't do any uh, thing to my long hair. My hair is virgin hair. I don't do any chemical work. I don't go out of the sun. I don't swim. So what do I do? Yeah, you, you still need to do treatments. Why? Because our natural sebum only moisturizes up to this level. It does not moisturize all the way down here. 
only up to your ears. Can you imagine if your hair is moisturized all the way naturally to, to your shoulders, how oily your scalp is? So that's not possible. You need to have, you still need to use weekly hair masks and daily conditioners when you start to do any kind of chemical work or if you go under the sun a lot. So fret not, we have the right products for you, which is the Fito Hoba Moisturizing Range. It's perfect for hair, which is slightly dry and porous like this. And these are the same products we're giving away today. Again, you can link, click on the link under our comment section and we'll send you three pieces of them. We send you the shampoo, the hair mask, as well as the care gel straight to your home. back. There are lots of questions. I'd like to answer a few of them very quickly. We have a question from Kelvin asking, what is the difference between um, leave-on conditioners and rinse-off conditioners? Well, they're both conditioners which you need to use. For those of you who find that you have long hair and you need to detangle when it's wet, maybe you can use a rinse-off conditioner. I personally love leave-on conditioners because I can use it after I towel dry, before I comb it, before I, I, I can use it any time of the day. Leave-on conditioners can be carried with me on my hand and I can break it with me like a hand cream. You know, when I go to the office, I can just use it on my hands and it treats a lot faster. I don't have to wait till I shower and shampoo and then use a the conditioner. Yeah. Um, when to use a hair mask and conditioner was another question. Hair mask is something that is very intense and it treats, it's a deep treatment. So when you apply a hair mask, you first have to make sure your hair is it's wet but not dripping wet. You've got to towel dry it. You apply the mask and you have to leave it on. Some hair masks takes five minutes, some even takes 15 minutes. Like for us, for Fito, ours have no silicone. There's no chemicals in the hair mask. Everything using plant butters and essential oils. We definitely need a bit more time so it can penetrate and treat your hair ends from within. A conditioner really is more like something you apply quickly for a minute and you rinse off so that it helps to just be able to run your fingers through it. So let me get back. What happens when you de decide to color and perm more frequently because you like to have change? So maybe you color every two months. So you color like five to six times a year. So this is gonna to happen to your beautiful hair. Your hair is gonna be so damaged, it's 50% damaged. From this picture, as you can see, it's 50% damaged because your hair has not been given enough time to recover and to be treated. And there you go again, perming, straightening or coloring, changing from ash to mahogany every other month. So that's very damaging. Another one that's very damaging is bleaching. Just one session of hair bleaching, your hair is going to be damaged at 50% level because it uses a 12% peroxide. Unless you're very lucky, you only bleach when your hair is a virgin hair. You technically, you naturally have very strong hair. So maybe your damage is about 20-30%. But most of us, just one bleaching session, your hair is damaged 50% you need to start doing hair treatments two to three times a week at this level. But what's great is Fito has a great range that's suitable for hair like this. It's the Fito Elixir range for ultra dry hair. I love this range. It smells heavenly and it great, gives really great results. Three years ago, when I bleached my hair, I had to use the oil and it saved my life. If not, I'll have really bad hair and all broken but because of Vito Elixir oil, my hair is still here. So let's see what else it has.
like to answer a few more questions now. We have a question from Ms. Carol Neo. Does applying too much conditional on hair mask result in hair loss? The answer would be no, but it really depends on how you use it and what hair mask you use. When you're using a hair conditioner or a hair mask, you do not put it onto your hair, like a shampoo. The shampoo, you pour it, you put it straight on your scalp. Uh, you don't do that for conditioners or for hair masks. For hair masks and conditioners, you apply it from here. Remember I told you about the year level? Just from the year level and below. Anything below the year level, you apply your hair mask like this. So you never put it onto your scalp. So I cannot see how it would cause your hair loss because the, the mask can't travel backwards. But if you use a very strong chemical product, lots of silicone, and you have a habit of just going like this and putting the hair mask from the roots, then maybe over time, the silicone would have clogged your scalp and maybe therefore causing hair loss. But I would not say, I would believe it normally hair masks and conditioners won't cause um, hair loss problems directly. Mm. So there's another question about protecting your hair from hair dryer's heat because we all now learn how to style. So it's really important that we use the right product to protect against the thermal heat. So buy a product which is water-based and not oil-based and very lightweight where you can spray on to protect your hair before you use your straighteners or your curlers or your hair dryers. Uh, Fito has products like this too. It's all natural and it's very light to protect from thermal heat. So moving forward, you decided that to achieve your hair color when you bleach it. Because Asian hair, when you bleach it, it doesn't turn silvery white. You, in order for you to achieve the unicorn colors that you want to achieve, um, you need to bleach a few times. Because our Asian hair, it's very dark. So when you color it, it turns green, it turns orange, it turns yellow. And these colors don't go well with our skin tone. So what happens is you end up bleaching several times. Or you decide to color every month. You know, maybe every month you're coloring, not the roots. I'm not talking about the gentlemen or, or ladies who color the roots. Because remember, roots are your virgin hair. It's not damaged yet. I'm talking about when you color the entire head of hair every month. It, I don't know, because you want to change your colors or you want to do something with it. But when you do that, there's so much strong ammonia that you use and high levels of peroxide and your hair will be damaged to the point of 80% like this, very damaged. It's so damaged, you can see how broken down it is. There's practically very little cuticles left to protect your cortex. You can even see the inner layer of your cortex already. And this is very scary. Um, your hair will look scary too. It looks like wire. Your hair is all matted together. You can never comb it. It's ridiculous. It's a tangled mess. And blow drying takes what? three or four times longer than usual because it's so hard to blow. So at this point in time, you really need to do treatments and you need to do it every day for the next two weeks. And then you can kind of relax a bit and do alternate days for the next two weeks. You know what I mean? Because it's so badly treated at this point. And don't worry, we have a repair program which treats brittle and damaged hair like this. It's the pitocarotene repair range. And this range is great because it's just been revamped and we just relaunched it this year. So let's see how you can use them. I love the carotene range. I love the mask. It's sold out at the moment. And I love the spray. I use it all the time because I, I like my hair to be soft and blow dry. And yet it, you, it's unbelievable. It has no silicone in it, but the hair is so soft. Um, there's a question from Ms. Key. Um, she asks, can split ends be sealed back? You see what happens when you have split ends is the, when the hair breaks. When the hair breaks, the hair, the, 
ends of the hair is jagged like this. Unlike when you cut your hair, it's a smooth, the hair ends is smooth, right? Can you imagine what I'm saying? So when you break, the hair breaks, it's like the jagged hair. And what happens is then it starts to split apart very easily like this. And that's how you get split ends. And yes, if your split ends is just started, we have a product that can seal it right back together. Um, but if your split ends has been gone going for a long time, you left it like this for a long time, then it's going to be difficult because it would have split up a lot. Yeah. So when you start to have really bad ends and dry ends or breakage, you need to use treatments immediately. And the products that you could use um, would be something like uh, the next range I'm going to share with you. So when you don't do any treatments and you haven't stopped your chemical work, it's a slippery slide from here to split ends. Yeah, because at 80% damage, it's so fast for it to just be to just break in a matter of days or even just a few weeks. And it looks really bad like this. It's a total loss of the cuticle structure. Again, this is a 10,000 microscope. This is zoomed in 10,000 times, but that's how a hair strand looks like. Everything is gone. There's no more cuticle structure to hold the cortex in. It, just, it breaks like a bean sprout, you know? Like it just, you can pluck it off like your algae. It's really like that. And you may need to cut your hair or you're gonna stop, stop all the chemical treatments for at least three to six months and allow your hair to heal. Start your daily treatments for the next one month without fail. So the next one month you dedicate it every day, you gotta use your hair oils, the hair masks and things like that. Um, like the phytocarotene extreme range, which we have. It's so important that it's, you use these products because your hair will look so wired and so bad, yeah? But this range would definitely help you. It has helped me when I bleached my hair four times three years ago. It helped me a lot. And to answer your question, Miss Key, if you looked at the Phytocarotene Extreme, the cream, that product can seal back split ends and it can treat dry hair. It's an award-winning product. So I would definitely recommend you to have a look at that product. Let's see the video. is whatever a hair condition there's something out there at least from what I know through fetal we definitely have something there that could help you but you really need to put in the effort and some time I'd like to share with you another fun fact our hair is a lot more elastic than you think it can expand 30% longer than its original length when it's wet but what does that mean? It means that we need to be really gentle with our hair when it's wet. So before I leave you, I want to give you a few quick tips on what to avoid when you have damaged hair. Don't brush your hair when it's wet. Please use a very special wet brush or a wet tooth comb. You can spray on the phytocarotene detangling protecting spray before you comb it as well. So this really helps you, yeah? Um, the next thing to do is to stop all heat styling, like those that you curl directly or you blow dry directly or use a hair straightener directly onto your hair. Maybe you can only use a low heat hair dryer just to blow dry, but low heat or cool air, but nothing strong. Just give your hair a little break. The third thing would be avoiding the beach under the sun for a long time. If you need to go to golfing and stuff like that, wear a hat. Um, Fito has a Fitoplatch range, which helps to protect from the sun, the UV rays, things like that. When you go to swim, use a swimming cap and use a, use a uh, swim uh, shampoo. We have a sun shampoo, which we can use, which washes off all the chlorine. The fourth thing to do is when we shampoo, I mean, when we shampoo our hair, 
we, when we dry it, we tend to have the action of doing this with our towel to dry it out. But this is really bad because you're kind of rubbing it sideways. You're opening up the hair cuticles. What you want to do is to dry it in a downward motion, which is the same direction as your hair skills, like this. Yeah, so you still dry it. You can, you can even press it, but don't rub it like this. It's a thing that a lot of us do, but it's really bad for your hair. Don't tie up your hair up too tightly with lots of updos. Your hair is really so weak. Let's try not to do fancy styles too much because then it's going to be too much tension on the hair, causing it to break even more. And lastly, avoid using very harsh detergent shampoos or maybe you wash your hair two, three times a day. Maybe you could try to avoid doing that because then you're drying out your hair as well. Uh, all your natural oils as well as the treatments that you're using. So let me go to the questions. Uh, thank you, G. You, very good that you have a good recommendation for our audience. Um, Kelvin is asking, can men use phytokeratin extreme shampoo? Well, um, you can if your hair has been damaged very badly, like you have longer hair and you bleached it very badly, it's very damaged. Um, it's a very rich shampoo. So it's only suitable for people who have, I feel, long, thick hair and very damaged. For someone like myself, even how damaged it was, the keratin cream was good. The shampoos I would use, like the Fito Elixir shampoo, I'll go a, a great lower because my hair is very fine. It's not thick and dense. And I've got oily scalp. So I would go with a Fito Elixir shampoo and I'll use the Fito Keratin mask and the Fito Keratin cream. So you can mix and match between our range. It's really good if you could share with us what your scalp type before we diagnose the range for you, what the perfect combination for you and the perfect program that's personalized for you. But definitely, um, any of the products will work for you. Any questions out there? Okay, so I'd like to remind you that we have a giveaway for this show, which is our Fito Hoba Moisturizing Trial Pack, the shampoo, the hair mask, and the live-in care gel. And we'll send it straight to your home. You just need to give us your click into the contact click in and give us your contact information on the comment section there and you would have it. Oh, another happy news is for all our Fito Hair Talk fans, we are providing an exclusive discount code to enjoy 25% discount. Just key in the code Hair Talk when you check out from our Fito SG website. So in closing, for the last half an hour, thank you so much for being with me and thank you for all your comments and your questions. I will run through all of them after this and have them answered. And I really hope to see you next week again on Tuesday for Fito Hair Talks, same time, 8 o'clock. And this time around, we'll be discussing dandruff and sensitive scalp, something that I suffer from every month when I get my period. Anyway, and also this coming Thursday, we have the third episode of our Fito Passion Project. And we're going to get behind the scenes with Mr. Danny Yeo. So I'm really excited. So finally, I'm Lin Tan. And thank you for spending the last 30 minutes with me. Um, have a great night. Goodbye. This could be the moment we've been waiting for. The chance to feel alive. Nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to talk. There's nothing like we've ever seen.